The gunman who killed three law enforcement officers in Baton Rouge searched online for the home addresses of the white officers involved in the shooting death of Alton Sterling. Now that's one of the new details released today after a year-long investigation by the East Baton Rouge District Attorney's Office. Paul Murphy has seen some or has some of those chilling recordings and has this report. A prosecutor's report released new details about last summer's ambush in Baton Rouge that left three law enforcement officers dead and three others injured. The, guy with a rifle next to the, building. the report included a recording of the police radio at the scene of the shooting. This is East Baton Rouge Deputy Brad Garafala minutes before he was shot and killed by the lone gunman Gavin Long. Oh, shot fired, officer down, shot fired, officer down. Got a city officer down, shot fired, shot fired on your line. According to the report, Long spotted Baton Rouge police officer Matthew Jarrell walking inside the Be Quick food store on Airline Highway. Garofalo, who was in plain clothes, joined Jarrell in the store. They are soon alerted about a man in black fatigues carrying a rifle in the area. District Attorney Hiller Moore described what happened when the two officers leave the store to investigate and other officers arrive on the scene, including Officer Chad Montgomery. And here comes Montgomery, turns and fires at Montgomery twice and hear how he moves back and forth as Garofalo is engaging him, shooting at him 13 times. Long kills Garofalo, then shoots and kills Gerald, who was lying helplessly on the ground. Long also killed Officer Montrell Jackson before he was taken out by police. Oh, he is down. The gunman wrote a suicide note describing what he was about to do as a necessary evil in order to create substantial change within America's police force and judicial system. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And the report describes shooter Gavin Long as a Marine veteran angry with police treatment of black men. An autopsy report showed he had a small amount of alcohol and also crystal meth in his system the day of that shooting. The DA said Long got off 43 high-powered rounds before he was killed by tactical officers.